the direction of the team this week? Was it easy to get over the disappointment of the end of the game last week? And how, how focused are you guys now on Ole Miss? Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much, we put it to bed on, on Monday. So we pretty much got straight to Ole Miss. I mean, it was, it's out of our control. It is what it is. We lost. So we put it to bed. We're on the Ole Miss this week. And their defense, when you look at it, the people have put up some pretty big numbers on them. What do you see? Oh, we just got to go out and execute. Coach Bryce is going to give us a great plan, and we just got to go execute just like every other week. It's really not about what they do. It's about what we do. Do we know what we're doing? Do we know what we have to do and how we have to play? Sure, Betty. And Mike, can you just talk about that defense? What do they like to do structurally and, and things like that? Oh, we see that they're going to give us a lot of space out on the edge as opposed to other teams like to come up in your face and press and be physical at the point. But they'll give us a lot of space, uh, more, more zone coverage than we usually see. So it'll be a lot of space out there for us. Got it. Yeah, hey, Mike, just what, what have your thoughts been on your play through, through three weeks? I know during the preseason, one of your goals was – no drops and a, and a bunch of yards this year, more touchdowns. But through three weeks, what's what do you think has been going well for you and what are you still working on? Uh, I think I've been getting open and making contested catches. I made some good contested catches, but uh, I still got to get better. Had a drop last week. Um, I just got to keep getting better every week and make sure when the ball come my way, I got to do something with it every time. Hey. Um, Mike, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Mike, just as far as the pressure, that, that don't, knowing how much Ole Miss can score offensively, how much pressure is there not to waste possessions to, to uh, basically score every time you all have the ball? I mean, I don't – ain't no pressure, really. We, like I said, we just got to go out and execute and do what we're supposed to do and let the chips fall where they fall. We just can't have mental errors, can't have penalties, can't be shooting ourselves in the foot. If we don't stop ourselves, I don't believe anybody can stop us. So it's really all about what we do. Thank you. Otis. Yeah, Mike, how you doing, man? Hey, uh, talk about the connection. It seems like you and Warren are forming a really good chemistry with Felipe at quarterback. And then also talk about the game Traylon came in last week. You know, you guys were without Rakeem. And talk about the game he had receiving and running. Just all that. Uh, I think me and Devion, we definitely um, have done what we we're supposed to do. Uh, we all expected that we were going to play like this anyway. So it's no really big surprise for us. But uh, I think we've been playing very well. And then Traylon Smith, I mean, I've been telling people all offseason what he was going to do when he got in. So like I said, no surprise to us or anybody that was in this building or that's seen Traylon ever since he transferred in. But he's definitely came in and done what he's supposed to do with Rakeem being out. He definitely showed it a big load for us last week and gave us a good game. It seems like, though, you guys, when Felipe maybe used to run and around back there a little bit in the pocket, you guys find a way to get out. I mean, it just seemed like you developed pretty good chemistry with him. Just talking about a new quarterback, you know, that you really didn't get to work with that much in the spring. Yeah, uh, but due to quarantine, we got, uh, we got a chance to get together outside of football and work on some things. So with that, like, we just out there and playing backyard football. We see Felipe break, then we gotta we just keep getting open because we know he can extend the play with the best of them. So when he when we see him break, we keep we keep playing into that whistle ball. Thanks, man. Trade Betty. Yeah, Mike, Mississippi or excuse me, Ole Miss, um, they're giving up 338 pass yards a game, 77% completion percentage. I know when you I don't know if you guys look at those kind of numbers or anything, but how do you guard against any type of overconfidence seeing, um, you know, some of the stuff that they've given up on defense? Um, like I said, I mean, it don't mean nothing to us because we haven't done anything against Ole Miss this year. So we have zero yards against them this year. So we're we're still going to go out, have to go out there and earn every yard. It's still an SEC team, just like every other team. So we can't go in taking it lightly. Uh, so we're just going in. It's all about us. We just got to execute. Mike. Mike, gotta go ahead and uh, unmute yourself. There you go. Um. 
And we'll come back around to Mike, uh, Tom. Yeah, Mike, you gotta you gotta unmute on there. Hey, um, Mike, uh, two things. What have you thought of the fact that you've got key offensive guys out, uh, Rakeem, Traylon Burks, and yet you guys have still been very competitive in the games? What has that meant to you? And second, how's Rakeem looked in practice this week? Um, uh, with the guys stepping in and making plays, I mean. We, that's what the expectation is here. You got to come in and play. It don't matter if you third string or what. And plus, going into the season with this whole COVID thing going on, we already knew that people were going to have to step up anyway. So, I mean, it's next man up. That's what it is. We're not, oh, he's a backup. Oh, he's a freshman. Whatever. You got to go in and play when your name is called. And Rakeem, he's been looking really good. Uh, he came back this week. He's been, he's been moving around pretty good. So, he looks good to me from what I've seen. Mike, you want to go ahead? Uh, Davion has been around forever, uh, and yet we're seeing him do things that people thought he could do all along, but but hasn't done till now. What do you what do you think the difference has been for him? Uh, I mean, he's confident this year. Like he had a great count, so he just looks real confident. He's playing fast off the ball. Coach, coach always tells him play fast off the ball. When he plays fast off the ball, ain't too many people that can hang with him. So he's been playing fast off the ball and he's been real confident this year. You think it has something to do with a new coaching staff that just comes in and reevaluates, gives people second chances? Uh, that could be, that could be what it is. But as far as on his part, he just looks a lot more confident and he's playing, he's been playing fast and he's been just balling this year. So. Sure, Betty. Mike, I don't know that you concern yourself too much with the pass rush and, and the Ole Miss defensive line, but how are they about getting to the quarterback and, and uh, or, sorry, excuse me, <laughs> I phrased that wrong. The, uh, sorry, I, I phrased that wrong, but how is the, uh, how is the, uh, the pass rush at them, um, you know, getting to Arkansas and getting to the quarterback and stuff and, um, and I guess disrupting the passing game? Um, I'm not sure, but I'm sure the O line knows all about them, and I'm sure they're gonna do their job. And we, our job is to get open. So however long Fleet Bay got back there is however long we going we need to get open. So our job is to get open quick and get the ball and make something happen when we touch it. So that's what we're gonna do. I got one more if it's okay, Jacob. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. How important is it for you guys to start winning home games? It's been a while since you won an SEC home game. Yeah, it's important. I mean, we want to win every game, but definitely in our home state, and we ain't, we ain't gave our, uh, our home fans some uh, a chance to celebrate a win with us in a while, uh, an SEC win for sure. So we just got to we just gotta bring one home this week so we can all celebrate and have fun and just turn the state up. Thanks, Mike. Anybody have another one for Mike? Yeah, I had one more. That's okay. Um, Mike, just what's tell me about Davey on the teammate. What's he like to to kind of work with every day? Oh, well, that's my roommate. So we live together, and um, so I mean, we got a good chemistry and bond. Uh, he's a hard worker. He come in, put his head down, and work. And we keep we hold each other accountable. We hold the rest of the group accountable. So he's just he's a good leader. He's one of the oldest guys in our room. So people look up to him, he's respected and he's a hard worker.